What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'll show you how to delete posts for our blog with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete posts. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we worked on editing. So now we have a button where we can actually edit our posts. In this video, I want to create a little link that we can delete posts. And this is going to be pretty similar to a lot of the things we've done before, but there's one little thing that's different in this one that will throw you off if you don't understand it. And it's not hard, but uh, we need to talk about it. So, all right, let's head back over to our code. Here at the top, we've got our list view. This is the view that shows all of our blog posts on our homepage. We've got the detail view. This is the one that shows individual posts when we click on them. We've got the create view. This creates blog posts. We've got the update view. This lets us edit. And now, if you guessed right, we have the delete view, right? So obviously it does exactly what it sounds like. So let's head down here and let's create a new class. And let's just call this delete post view. Call it anything you want. We want to pass in that delete view. And I'm just gonna sort of grab this stuff here and copy it, paste it in. Now we don't need this form class. And for the template name, let's create one called delete post. Now we need to do one more thing here, but I'll wait a minute to do that. We'll talk about it in a second. Now let's just create this delete post thing. So head over to our templates directory, right click new file, file, save as, and let's call this delete post.html. And we can grab something like um, maybe our update post thing. Let's just grab all of this code and paste it in. Now we want to change this to delete blog post and delete post. And now let's give a little thing here. We want to say exactly, we want to show exactly what post we want to delete. So let's give this like an H3 tag and let's say delete. And then we can just go post.title. Show the title of this thing, right? And let's close our H3 tag here. And now we still need to post this thing, right? And we still need a CSRF token, but we don't need this entire form because we're not updating anything on the blog post and we don't need to output any of the stuff from the blog post. All we need is a button that we can click that says, you know, are you sure you want to do this? And so let's just say uh, delete post. And I don't know, maybe you might want to put a little something in here that says, uh, are you sure? <laughs> right? Uh, I don't know. And let's put a line break or two. And let's put a line break here too. Okay, so that looks okay. So now remember anytime we create something with Django, a page for instance, we need to do three things. We need to create the template file, this thing right here. We need a view, we just did that. And we also need a URL. So let's head back over to our urls.py. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing and paste it in. And instead of naming this update post, let's name this delete post. And it's not update post view, it's delete post view. And remember, we have to import this up here on this line here, where we've imported all the other ones as well. Okay. And now the actual URL, let's put this at article slash this and then the slash, I don't know, remove maybe or delete. Oh, let's go remove. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're again, we're passing this article directory. And then this int pk, if you remember is integer primary key, primary key is the ID that each blog post gets. So this tells us exactly which blog post we want to delete. And then this slash remove is just I don't know, just for decoration, we need to put something there so that it's different than uh, this one right here, right? The article detail view. And uh, let's see, delete post view, that looks good. We got the comma at the end. Okay, so that looks good. 
Now we need to go to each page where we want to delete link, right? So I, we'll start out with the home page and let's look at our home page. So we've got the post here, we've got edit, maybe right next to edit, we'll put delete. That probably will work. So let's come over here and let's put it in this small tag. Actually, we can just copy this delete. And let's let's kind of put this on its own line. And then let's put it, the next one on its own line. And instead of update post, this is going to be delete post because in our urls.py, that's what we called it delete underscore post, right? And we're passing the post PK because that's the primary key that tells us which one we want to delete. Now let's change this from edit to delete. All right, so let's save this and see this might not work because we still have to do something to our view. But let's just see. Yep. Okay, so this is looking good. So here is edit three styled blog post. Let's delete that. So we come to this page, it says delete post, maybe you want that maybe you don't. Are you sure? And that's kind of smushed up there. Let's fix that fix that real quick. Uh, we're, let's go to our delete post. And right next to the Are you sure? Let's add another line break. Save that. Are you sure? Maybe you leave that. Maybe you take it off. But you can style this any way you want. Now, if we click this delete post, this actually won't work. We're going to get an error because it's trying to uh, redirect somewhere after we delete, and it doesn't know where. In the past, our models.py file has told us where to redirect to. In fact, if we go look at our models.py file. We see right here, we're returning reverse home, right? Well, that doesn't quite work for the delete post view. And we can see that by looking at the error message, it says we need to provide a success URL, right? So we need to tell it specifically where to go. And we can't use the reverse thing that we've been using for some reason, it just doesn't work with this. So we have to import something else to use. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And first, before we do that, we could just come down here to our delete post view and our views.py file and let's create a success underscore URL and set that equal to now I'm going to call this reverse underscore lazy and then pass in where we want this to go. I want it to go home. So we're using this reverse lazy thing and we need to actually import that. So let's come back up to the top and let's go from django.urls import reverse lazy. And that should work. And that's all we have to do. All right, so looking good. So let's come back here and go back. And now let's click delete post and boom, that third post is gone. Now we see this five, John Elder, if we edit that five, 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 fifth post, maybe we want to delete that. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in just a second. Now if we, we click, for instance, we want to just look at it, maybe we want this same remove post option on this page as well, right? So we can do that. Just head back over to our home.html. And I'm just going to copy this whole link that we just created. And now we can go to our article details page, which is this page, right? And I think right here next to the edit, we'll put a delete button. So that's right here. And let's put this all on its own line. So we can start to make some sense of this. And we can just copy this exact same thing. So URL delete post, post PK primary key, the unique ID for each blog post. And uh, yeah, good to go. So let's save this and come back here and hit reload. And so now we get this delete thing. So here, remember, the name of this one is five, let's go ahead and delete it. Are you sure? Yes, delete post, boom, that fifth thing is gone. And just that easy. So uh, pretty easy to do this. Now, one more thing, one more extra thing before we go, some people have asked how we change the ordering of this. And I can show you this really, really quickly. This is kind of a hacky way to do it, but it will work for now. You notice we've got the post the first, this is our very first blog post. And it's the first one listed. Well, with a blog, you don't usually want the last, th the first thing listed to be the very first thing you ever posted, you want the most current one listed first, and that would be post the fourth, right? So this one we want to be at the top. Well, how do we fix that? Really easy, we could just head over I've actually already done this, I've commented out, go to our views.py file and go to our class our home view class. And we can just set this flag of, of ordering equal. And by what we want to put negative ID, that's that primary key, remember, now normally you would put by date, but we didn't create a date field when we created our model. So 
<laughs> we, I'm just going to go by ordering by ID, and maybe we'll fix that later on. We'll add a date field. But for now, we can just go by negative ID. So if we went just regular ID, this would be in regular order. The first one would be the one with ID of one. The second one would be the post with ID of two, et cetera, et cetera. If we go negative ID, now the first one listed will be, you know, the blog post with ID 10 or whatever the latest one is, the, the, the biggest number. So if we save this and then just come back here, now notice this is post the first and this is post the fourth. Now if we hit reload, boom, post the fourth is the one listed first because it's with the highest ID. Now, obviously this is not a great thing because IDs can be all over the place, right? You can, uh, the, the, the post with the highest ID in theory probably should be the one with the highest ID number. So this will work, but it would be better to use a date or date time, uh, but we don't have that right now. And we may look at that later, but I just want to show you that really quickly. And I'm going to uncomment this, or we can just leave it as ID. And then when we reload, it goes back to the way it was. But I'm just going to comment this out for now. We might, like I said, tinker with this and add a date field later on and do it by date, which is the way you probably want to do it. But just for now, that's sort of a hacky way that will work. Okay, so we are coming right along. We've got all the major features that we would want. We can create a post. We can add a post. Uh, we can edit it. We can delete it. We can do all the things. And so that's pretty cool. Now we need to start talking about authentication, and we'll get into that in the next few videos. Uh, but yeah, it's coming right along. It's pretty simple. So far, it hasn't been uh, too difficult, I don't think. So uh, very, very cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.